Hello everyone, so today I wanted to share with you all these beautiful little dies that um, I got my friend Arjuna who is the owner of Crafty City I'm going to put Arjuna's link below as well I got her to purchase these for me from HSN and these are some Anna Griffin dies and I really really loved the look of them when um, she had it on um, her YouTube review and I just I just thought they were just a great idea to have um, for quick cards. So they're called the Jacket Card Die Set. And I don't have the individual names for the first two. I know there's a series of them coming out. So these are the first two. And um, I'll show you the dies in a bit more detail. So basically what it is, um, it comes with this idea sheet of what you can create. Um, so the one that I've got... Okay, so these are the two designs. So they cut out and create beautiful dies. And the whole concept is called a jacket card because it just basically wraps around and creates the um, card. So these are the dies that you get. I hope they, I would just wish they had the um, individual names on. It doesn't, and I can't remember, but they were on HSN. I'm not sure st if they're still on there. Um, but if you want to search them, it's Anna Griffin Jacket Card Die Set. Okay, so um, these are the two die sets that you get in the first set that they've come out with. This is the first one. And they are really nice size. And I'm just going to put this one aside for a sec. Um, so they measure, I'll just give you a quick measurement. I have made a few cards. Um, so they measure 9 inches across this one and then... The card base would be seven inches and there is a fold or a score line in the center here and um, which is going to create the card base and this is going to be the decorative part on the front so the card base itself will be a five inch across um card so it's a nice size card that you get these are the extra embellishments that you get with this set so you get this on eight piece here and it comes with a shadow layer and I'm just going to pick it out. So this shadow layer is actually the same design as this part here. So you could layer it up. And I'm sorry, the lighting is really bad. It's just awful outside today. And I'm, I think I'm coming down with a cold as well. I was going to do a tutorial with this. But because I'm not feeling 100%, I just made up my cards. And I will show you what I've done. So they basically just sit back on here and it's always a good idea to keep your dies within the cards because there is a guideline of where they should go and then you know you've got them all in one place. Um, so it comes with two butterflies as well, um, just as a side profile butterfly with again a shadow layer which I'm just going to try and take off so you get the shadow as well as the intricate detail bit which is quite nice if you're using patterned paper. And then the full butterfly here and then a tag shape as well. So this is the first one. And I'll show you what I've done with this in a sec. The second um, card design is this one. And this has got the more of the rosy peony kind of flowers on this. And size wise, this one is a bit um, larger across. So the panel here um, is bigger. So this one measures 10 inches across. The card base is actually the same which is 5 inches so it's just the decorative part which is um, a bit fatter here and um, height wise 7 inches again. So this would then just fold across. So there's your cut line. Um, this one comes with two large, I think the peonies, um, with the decorative decorative part and the shadow layer here on both the flowers and then you've got a little cluster they almost look like daisies which are there so the only criticism if i have any for this die set would be because they're not cheap i must admit they are quite pricey um for two die sets even though there's i mean they're quite big but i think the price point um that they're at it should have had another die here to create a mat or a layer for the card base it, because what you have to do is once you've done your card you have to fold up a piece of paper to create your insert um but if you didn't want to do that i think they should have had another just just a, um, a nested die here as the rectangular shape so that you could cut it out and automatically get your um mat 
for the actual card base which I think would have been a good idea even if they came in a set I think I should have had it in one of them because the base of the card is the same size but that's just my thought on it so let me show you the cards that I've made so with this one this is the card I made and I didn't want to go all fancy it's just to show you what I can what I created with this and this was the paper I had on hand and it's the Prima Rose Quartz paper pad so I've just cut out the um, card base using some white card and basically this is what it cuts out like that and then you fold it it's got the crease line here so you fold it and then you end up with this little filigree section here and then obviously you have to insert something like a paper decorative paper or even plain paper to give you that shadow if you didn't have this you just have this layer and the card at the back but i think it's nice to have a layer here and um, but like i said if they provided another die to create a mat i could have just cut another one out and just added it here so i wouldn't have to use a whole insert um, so on this particular one I've just cut it in white and then I've cut this large medallion shape here and I've put it on some foam pad I've not used the butterflies or the tag and I've just gone round and inked that with two ink pads in a charcoal and um, pink and these are just some do craft ink pads that are really really handy that I always use so those are the ink pads I've used for both the cards, which I'll show you in a sec. And then I've just put Happy Anniversary. So they are really nice and quick and easy cards um, to put together because they're just so intricate. You don't really need to do a lot. Um, so they were really nice and easy to put together. And they look really, really nice as well. And um, they've got that laser cut effect to them. So this is the anniversary card I did with this particular die. And then sticking with the same colour theme and the same paper pad I used this die to make this card so this just says happy birthday and the sentiments are just printed off and cut and put them on some foam pad and um, so I've done the same thing again I've cut the whole thing out like so and folded it in half leaving me just this part here on white background and then I wanted this floral design here so I've just cut some paper and folded it in half and just stuck it in the center here and the inside on both of them you can just write your message and the flowers I've used um, all three I've not used the shadow layer on these um, but I just used three flowers and then I've inked it in the same way in the pink with the pink and black just to complement the papers in the background and it says happy birthday and I've cut it in a banner shape and I've added it not to the fancy panel but I've added it to the decorative paper and when it stands it just looks like this so there's quite a lot of dimension it looks like there's lots of layers because I have put these on foam pads um, but that's how they are so if you do want to see a tutorial let me know but they are quite straightforward to use and they, they are quite fun as well and they create the best thing is they create um, beautiful cards quickly and sometimes you need quick cards quick pretty cards and um, I think these are a great way to do that so that is my video for today thank you so much for watching like I said if you do want to see a tutorial on these let me know and I'll try and put together a video for you soon. Right now, I think I'm definitely coming down with a cold. I feel all gunged up and I've got a bit of a sore throat. So I don't think I'll have a video for the next few days. But if you do want to see something, let me know. I'll put it um, in the pipeline and try and get something out for you when I'm feeling a bit better. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Check out Archana's link. She is Crafty City on um, craftycity.com she's got a website she sells beautiful beautiful items and she was so so lovely to get me these posted um, from USA all the way to the UK which was really nice because it's such a shame because we have like I think Anna Griffin comes on QVC but all the best stuff is in the US like all the new dyes we kind of get the older things um but these new dyes if they come out with a second set over here i'm not going to get it from the us anymore but if they come out over here i will probably definitely get the second set 
Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching. I need to stop rambling and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.